Fights are breaking out at supermarkets in Italy. Panic is spreading throughout Romania. And San Francisco has just declared a state of emergency. In the face of this growing pandemic, today I'm going to show you how to stay calm, keep your head on straight, and stay safe. Coming up. Hey, welcome to the power of quiet, your portal to your peace and presence, which is your power to create abundance, happiness, and even good health and wellness in your life. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because every single video that we release here shows you step by step how to tap into this peace and presence inside of you. And if you are subscribed to this channel and you're a fan of what we do here, please share this video. Because if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of negativity and fighting and drama going on out there in the world. And together, we can counteract all this negativity and make this world a better place for all of us. Now, talking about negativity and drama, one of the things that fascinates me about our culture nowadays is this big culture of snowflakes. People complaining about how unfair life is, how other people are enjoying privileges that we don't have, and everything is just awful. When, in fact, overall, globally, we're better off than we were 50 years ago, and especially 100 years ago and beyond. And nowadays, even a poor person has more than a rich person used to have 100 years ago. We have all these conveniences and luxuries, and most of us have a supercomputer at our fingertips with access to unlimited information. And here we are complaining about how we don't have enough. So having a big natural disaster, a global catastrophe like this growing pandemic, it's a wake-up call for all of us to say, hey, look, we can't rely on these cushy comforts that we have. We can't rely on the big corporations being able to just push a button and have Amazon deliver us whatever we want the same day. We can't rely on the government to provide us with benefits and Social Security. All this can just disappear like that. And all of a sudden, like within a day or two, the supermarket down the street that's always stocked up with everything that we want, we can all of a sudden walk in there and there's nothing. And then what do we do? So today, I'm going to show you how to really take care of yourself. Not just externally, not just by being prepared and stocking up, but more importantly, internally. This is where it all starts. Because if you have fear, if you're worried about what's going on, that puts you in a weakened position. And if you have fear, you're more likely to have something bad happen to you. So what I'm going to show you is how to get rid of the fear. So you can rise up above the situation. You can have a clear head about you. So you can see things clearly, make smarter decisions, and ultimately weather any storm that can come your way. All right, so take a look at this current situation with the illness that's going across the planet. And see if you're worried about it coming to you, or maybe you're worried about traveling and going to a place where people are already getting sick. And just get in touch with that fear. And take a look at that fear that you have about the situation and measure it right now on a scale of 0 to 10. 10 being the most fearful and 0 being the least fearful. Just measure where you're at. You might be at a 3, relatively low, or you might be at a 10. You might be really worried about it. Now, wherever you are, notice when you're facing that fear, you don't really like that fear. It's bothersome. Right? I mean, who likes fear? So notice, there's a tendency to say no to that fear, to reject it, to try to push it away. Get it out of here. Oh, I don't want you to fear. Get out of here. Right? 
You're saying no to that fear. Now, when you say no to that fear, does that make the fear go away? No. It just makes it stronger and stronger and stronger. When you say no to the fear, you're feeding it. You're empowering it. So, instead of saying no to that fear, let's do something different. Since saying no doesn't work, we're going to take a radically different approach. So look at that fear that you have, whether it's at a 3, a 10, or a 57, whatever number you're at. Just take a look at that fear and say yes to it. Just say yes to it right now. Why yes? Just that simple. Just say yes to it. And say yes to that fear a little bit more. And say yes to that fear a little bit more. And say yes to that fear a little bit more. And say yes to it even more. And say yes to it even more. And even more. And say yes to it even more. And even more. And even more. And all the fear is, right now in this moment, it's just a feeling. And chances are, you don't really have a problem that's not on your doorstep right now. So there isn't a situation that's already happened to you, but you have a feeling right now. And all that fear is in this moment is just a feeling. So look right at it and say yes to that fear. And say yes to that fear even more. And even more. And even more. And even more. And say yes to that fear even more. And even more. Now notice how you feel. And measure yourself on that scale of 0 to 10. And see if you moved. See if that number dropped. You notice that? Notice a difference? And notice the difference in how you feel. If you feel a little bit lighter now, a little bit calmer, more at ease. And this is showing you that you don't have to carry this fear around with you. By saying yes to it, it's leaving. And you can let it go. And the fear isn't real. It really has nothing to do with that situation because that situation isn't here right now in this moment. The only thing that's here right now in this moment was just a feeling. That's it. So now that you've let some of that feeling go, let go pushing down on the rest of the fear. So you got some momentum going now. Welcome up the rest of it. Just allow that fear to come up. And just open up. You can just imagine a door or window right in front of you opening up. And that fear now moving right on out the door. Just welcome up the rest of your fear. And let it go out that door. That imaginary door now. Just imagine it leaving. Passing through. And just evaporating, dissolving away into this quiet space all around you in there. And let it go even more. And even more. And even more. And even more. And how does that feel? Lighter? Again, 
This is proof. You can let go of the fear. And you see, the fear doesn't help you. It never did help you. All it is, is it's like an anchor pulling you down. So, likewise now, take a look at what's going on in the world and see if you're worried about it. Basically the same thing as fear. We're using a little different word. We're just kind of approaching this now at a different angle. Are you worried about what's going on? What could happen to you? Now notice what you're doing when you're worrying. You're trying to imagine what's going to happen in the future. And guess what? You can't predict the future. Good luck on that. So all it is just your imagination. And when you're worried about what could happen in the future. See, when you're worrying, you're right here, right now. And look at what you're holding in your mind right now when you're worried about that problem. You're holding in mind the problem. And since that is your picture right now, and as you know, whatever you hold in mind, you create. Like if you focus on something, your task at hand, you're going to see it all the way through. The more focused you are, the more you see results. The faster those results come. So the mind is a creative instrument. It's that instrument that you use to create everything around you. So if you're holding in mind the problem, that thing that you're worried about, what you don't want to have happen, isn't it more likely to happen to you? Now, of course, you can't predict the future, but you can certainly create the future for yourself if you're holding that problem in mind. Now, that worrying, that's your decision. It's your decision to worry about it. So if it's your decision to worry, and worrying isn't getting you the results, in fact, it's the opposite, it's just keeping you dwelling on the problem and pulling it at you, since you're doing it now, could you let go of worrying about it? Right now, just, it's just a decision, yes or no. Could you let go of worrying about it? Just a little bit now. And could you let go worrying about it a little bit more? And right now, your mind might be telling you, hey, that's stupid. You got to worry about it. If you're not worried about it, that's irresponsible. But look, that mind, it's just a voice in your head. And does it always give you good advice? Or is it a voice that's usually negative? Always telling you what problems you have how awful things are, how awful you are, right? That voice, it's really a negative thing. It's not your friend. And you can see already that worrying doesn't help you. So your friend in your mind telling you to worry about it, it's not helping you. You don't have to listen to it right now. And you don't have to take my word for it. You can prove it to yourself, right? So look, if you let go of worrying and that doesn't work out for you, guess what? You can go right back to worrying. You know how to do that. But just try it out right now. Could you let go of worrying about it? Just right now in this moment. And could you let go of worrying about it a little bit more? And could you let go of worrying about it a little bit more? And could you let go worrying even more? And even more. And even more. You see, worrying gets you to freeze. Like a deer in the headlights. You don't know what to do. You're stuck. But if you let it go, you move up. You move up into higher energy. You move up into courageousness. You move up into peace of mind. Where you can make smarter, more effective decisions. Instead of reacting. Right? 
So could you let go of worrying a little bit more? And could you let go of worrying a little bit more? It's your decision. Either you do it or not. Could you let it go a little bit more? And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And even more. And even more. And notice how you feel right now, just in this moment. Do you feel a little bit more positive, more calm and peaceful? And you can still take action. You can still prepare. Do whatever you decide to do. But now you could do it with clarity. And you might even see, hey, there really isn't a problem. I am just fine. Because the mind is creative. And you're holding in mind courageousness, peace. You're going to create that for yourself. You're even going to create it in your body. Now, let's take a look at another thing. This pandemic that's spreading across the globe right now. This virus. See if you're disapproving of this virus. And this might sound like a ridiculous question. Uh, what? Of course I should disapprove of this virus. I don't want it. Keep that thing away from me. But again, if the mind is a creative instrument and whatever you hold in mind, you dwell upon, is something that you're more likely to create if you're disapproving of it. What are you holding in mind? And when you're disapproving of it, even if it isn't here, look at the feeling that you're putting upon yourself right now in this moment when there isn't a problem. By disapproving of something that's out there, or even if it is right here, by disapproving of it, what are you doing? You're taking something that's negative, supposedly, and you're adding negativity to it because when you're disapproving of it, you're definitely being negative. And you feel that. Is that smart? And who's doing that? You are, right? So you're in charge. You're in the driver's seat right now. And if disapproving of it isn't going to help you, how about making a smarter decision to practice love and positivity? Wouldn't that be better and be more effective? So, could you let go disapproving of that virus? And could you let go disapproving of it a little bit more? And could you let go disapproving of it a little bit more? And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And even more. And even more. And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And even more. And how does that feel? Does it feel like you're bigger than it now? Just notice. You see, if you're reacting to something, like the situation that's going on, if you're reacting to it and you're disapproving of it, you're worried about it, it's bigger than you because you're dragging yourself down with your own negativity, with your own, and you're doing it, right? But when you let go of your negativity because you're doing it, you get bigger than it, you see? Now, let's get even bigger, way bigger. Take a look at that virus, whatever it means to you. 
could you give us some approval? Now this might seem really crazy. Wait, you want me to approve of that virus? Look, love doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't mean that you have to agree with it. It's just an attitude, right? So if love, positivity doesn't hurt anything, and besides, if you're loving, how does that feel to be loving and positive? Is it more empowering to you? Does it lift you up higher? Does it get you to make smarter decisions, see things more clearly? So do it for you. Be loving, right? So could you give the situation some love and approval? And could you give it some more love and approval? And could you give it some more love and approval? And some more. And could you give it even more love and approval? And even more. And even more. And even more. And even more. And how does that feel? That's empowering, isn't it? And notice right now, if you feel safer than you did a few moments ago, Notice the difference? Where is that safety coming from? Inside of you, right? It's just a subtle sense. Hey, things are better here. It's safe. And the conditions around you didn't change. The difference is in you. That safety is inside of you. And you're tapping into it from your decision to love. Because love is your power. Love is the real you. The unlimited you. So when you're loving, you're just being yourself. You're being your beingness. And this is the source of all your safety and security. The source of all of your abundance. And besides, regardless of what happens, even if you catch the virus, even if you get sick, it doesn't help you to be negative. Being loving, even if everything is a disaster, that's a much better way to handle it and confront it, right? So could you love the situation even more? And could you love yourself right now? Just because. No reason. Just because it's today. Could you love yourself? And could you love yourself even more? And even more. And even more. Isn't that the smart thing to do? And notice how you feel. So this love, it's a source of your safety and security. It's a source of all of your abundance and happiness everything that you're looking for, and it's right inside of you. And it's up to you to pay attention to it or disregard it. If you disregard it by falling into the fear and worry and negativity and disapproval, you move away from all of that. And that's where you have problems. Come back home, right to the source of you. You're not going to have any problem, none whatsoever. So keep practicing this, keep letting go of your negativity, keep practicing love, and watch what happens. Your whole life will be amazing. So onwards and upwards to your health and happiness. If this was helpful to you, please hit like below and share this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.